happy 2013. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful New Year's Day um, and many blessings to you and your family. I'm making this video as a start of my New Year's weight loss countdown. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, a lot of people put losing weight as their top New Year's resolution. And it's hard to, it's you get all pumped up for the beginning of the year, it's the beginning of something new, and then you kind of fall down a little bit of a slope, maybe February or March. So this, these, um, I wanted to try to turn my channel around into helping motivate those who may be kind of going through the same thing. Now I'm doing Atkins for weight loss, and I've been doing Atkins on and off for over three months. But with the new year starts a new beginning and possibly a new you and that's why I wanted to keep these videos going so that way we can help motivate each other throughout the long haul because losing, gaining weight has taken all my life to do but losing it, you know, is a process too. So, um, so I am currently 288.8 pounds. And I'm losing weight by using the Atkins lifestyle. And I wanted to make this video to do 10 ways I'm going to be personally responsible for my weight loss journey and keeping on Atkins and how I'm going to do that. The first thing is, of course, staying on Atkins induction. I have trouble when I finish my 14 days and I go off of induction. That freedom to eat a less restricted um meal plan it gets me in trouble each and every time so I decided on staying on Atkins for six months uh, that way I can get a large amount of my weight off and uh, have the ability and the you know self restraint to go to the next level um, doing it this early with this much weight to lose in my opinion is just I was setting myself up for failure so I'm definitely going to stick uh, very hardcore with the 20 grams of carbs or less per day. And um, again, sticking with, I have a notes up here, sorry. And sticking with the um, induction phase for, you know, longer than just the, the 14 days. Um, number two is to um, reread the Atkins book. I think that's going to be a great refresher. I'm going to start it today, hopefully get it done by tomorrow or on the January 3rd, and just kind of refocus myself, reground myself. I really want to redo Atkins. I want to view today as day number one and go from here. I have a journal I've been writing in, and with my food journal, it's hard to... You know, uh, every time you eat, you're like, oh, it's in the car, or it's at work, or it's in my purse, or it's wherever. So what I've learned to do is actually write down anywhere, take a picture of it with my phone, and at the um, when I can, go ahead and put it in there. Um, and also try to treat my book more like a cell phone, you know, because my cell phone goes wherever, upstairs, downstairs, everywhere. But my food journal doesn't. So I'm just trying to keep it more attached to me as in the past. I'm just trying to kind of have a new beginning. So my food journal, making that more of a priority. Um, so number two was to reread the Atkins book um, and ensure that I have a deeper understanding. Number three is posting more of my videos and gaining um, motivation in YouTube in general. So my videos are about doing Atkins uh, for weight loss and the challenges and the successes that goes into it. I'm still focusing on that because I get a lot from YouTube as well and I want to give as much as I'm getting. So the videos that are coming up are going to be, um, there's going to be some vlogs a day in the life of someone on induction from waking up, um, you know, and how, you know, because it is, it is a lot. You have to think a lot about food and not generally craving it, but, you know, making it, portioning it, measuring it out, making sure you have enough of this, enough of that, snacking, and everything in between. So I'm going to do start doing vlogs soon. Also, a lot more of grocery hauls, what's in my fridge, um, meal planning. Uh, that was a big success, and I plan on doing more of that. Um, what am I eating for the day? 
uh, diaries, weekly weigh-ins, of course, I'm going to videotape my weigh-in. As you know, today is day number one, so it's 288.8, and, you know, a week from now, we'll go ahead and uh, do it every, I guess, today is Tuesday, so every Tuesday, and so far, and, you know, so on and so forth. So I'm going to be more dedicated to these videos. Um, number four is to watch more success stories. Watch other people, you know, succeed, and that way it'll help keep me motivated. Um, number five, it's very important, not going outside uh, for one month to eat, which means um, no restaurants, no outside food, no um, getting food from, you know, other, other places except for home uh, for one month. Um, again, I know I'm very weak right now. I'll be woman enough to admit it. I'm not strong enough to go out there in the real world and... Um, kind of, you know, let my mind wander. I'd rather just keep it here and um, be stronger. Another thing I wanted to add it here is I really like The Biggest Loser, and I know it's coming on on NBC, so that's a really big motivation as well. I usually like to work out while I'm watching it. Um, number six, stop using artificial sweeteners. I'm so grateful that they're there when I have a craving, but they really do stop my weight loss, and I feel like they, in a way... Not necessarily hurt my weight loss, um, but just I'm trying to break my sugar habit. And sorry, it's my cat in the background. So I'm just trying to, um, you know, um, not use artificial sweeteners as um, sweeteners. Come here. Hi. Want to come say hello? He's like, no. Um, walk. That leads up to running. I've always had a dream of running in the morning and being one of those physically fit people, but I'm going to start with my elliptical, um, trying to walk during breaks and lunches at work, and then, you know, walk up to being able to, to run. Running is very difficult for me right now, being so large. Um, so I'm going to put my elliptical right in my living room, and if you know me, you would know that's very difficult because I like room and I don't like anything on my floors and I don't like anything uh, out of the ordinary. Um, I'm a little bit of a space freak, so putting that right in the middle of my living room, I'm really hoping that encourages me. Um, number eight is smell celebrating the small victories. So I've actually created in my weight loss journey on the back, or my weight loss journal, excuse me, on the back, my goals list. And here's what it looks like. So these are every time that I get out of the um, 10 pound mark. So right now I'm 288, so the next time I'm 279, 269, 259, 249, and so on. I have little, um, like, kind of um, special treats, I guess, that are not food related um, that I get to do or choose. So, to, like, for instance, I'll give you the first three. Uh, 279 is to go out with the movies with friends. Now, normally I do I do um, a girls' night out probably once or twice a week. Um, I do a lot of sleepovers already, but movies with friends is just something that I can look forward to and maybe not do it for a while because I do go out with my friends, but um, and we do go to the movies sometimes, but. Um, I'm going to try not to do that, and when I get into the 70s, it'll be more rewarding. And when I get to 269, I'm going to go to a trip to my own destination. I really like to go to Maryland. I like to go to Philadelphia. I like to go to New York. Probably New York is my favorite. By far, New York is my favorite. So when I get to the 269 mark, I can um, go to a trip to New York and uh, have like a nice day planned there. When I get to 259, I my favorite place besides New York is the beach. And so I wanted to kind of stay at a hotel and be at the beach when I hit the 269 or 259 mark. Um, 249 is I put here a bicycle ride. And um, that sounds kind of like plain Jane. But um, where I like to go for a bicycle ride at is pretty far. It's about two and a half hour drive. Um, and you start up the top of this really nice hill. And, um, you have to go up, you know, a little ways, but to go down, it's just so breathtakingly beautiful. There's all these sand dunes and the water and, um, it's just, it's so, it's so beautiful. And so that's why I put that at 249 because that would be a, 
um, a, a little bit of a extravagant trip. It's not something we could just do. Um, when I get down to 229, I put new clothes. 219, I put um, like a manicure, like so something like that. Like I just I put goals that I I know I would personally like to to do. So that's um, my goal list, and I think that everybody should create a goal list um, when you get even if it's the five pound marks because I'm so large for me, you know, marking it every five pounds wouldn't be as you know rewarding as 10 pound marks so I did 10 pound marks and um, my last one which is to get out of the twos um, would be 199 and I'm gonna go on a cruise <laughs> I don't know when I can do that if I can afford to but I really like to, to do a cruise and that's some time away from now so um, you know it's, it's always good to um, keep that motivation and focus so that was the um, celebrating small victories with a goal list, number eight. Number nine is keep myself responsible and have a backup plan. I have a friend who has lost 250 pounds, and she's kind of a sergeant, a drill sergeant, which I love about her. At the same time, kind of hate, but I love more than hate. Um, she's a, one of my best friends. I, I love her dearly. Um, and she, you know, took her, you know, two years to get most of the weight off and she's a great motivation for me um if I'm struggling she's right there for me she helps me a lot but I don't let her in as much as I should because when I'm want to fall off Atkins when I want to fall off my diet she gets really upset and emotional and um you know when you're so addicted to food you really don't want somebody to complain to you um, and she does, and she'll smack stuff out of my hands, and, you know, it's just agitating a little bit. And it's what I need is a swift, hard kick in the, you know. But um, she's definitely uh, a great friend, and I'm, you know, and I have other friends out there, and I'm going to be more honest in telling people what I'm doing. But not everybody, just my close friends, just letting the girls know. And number 10 is viewing cheating, view cheating as just not an option. In the book... Um, Akin has said, just this once type of mindset is set up for failure. He basically don't even start if you have that mindset. Oh, well, just this one. And that's one thing that goes through my head. It's, oh, it's just this one. I'm just going to grab this and this. And then one turns into 57. So those are my top 10 lists. Um, my course of action list for Atkins. I hope you guys are finding this any motivational. My next video is going to start. I'm going to start vlogging. And today is Tuesday. My vlog will start Saturday. So that's four days away. Um, Sunday is my, uh, video for meal planning video where I grill chicken and have snacks and my salads and portion it all out and I show you guys what I'm having throughout the week and what I make large soups and things like that and um and then of course next Tuesday which will be January 8th will be my one week update where I will live um I will get on the skill live so I'm not trying to get on and then you know videotape it afterwards I'm going to get on it and and view my weight then and there and, um, yeah, so those are the videos that are coming up. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for following me. I really appreciate any comments. Um, yeah, so happy New Year's to you. And, you know, anything you want to do is always possible. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.